For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone here at the Wally Bullington Practice Facility as we continue the preview of the 2015 ACU football season. Talking some D-line today with the D-line coach, Cody Moore. And we've got Josh Bloom uh, right there, one of the big uglies in the middle. And I, I say that with great affection, Josh. Uh, this line lost one of its best defensive linemen ever in Nick Richardson and a guy who, like Nick, found himself in an NFL uh, off-season rookie camp in Damon Williams. When you think of those two guys, what do you think of and what can you take into this season from what you learn? Uh, just hard work. I mean, both of those guys, you know, Nick, for example, he was here all, all the time I was here, showed up every day, uh, worked hard, showed us how, how to do things, and just brought the right attitude. And just, uh, things like that are things I'd like to carry over to younger guys. And uh, just the way he worked on his craft day in, day out, whether it be uh, run blocking, pass rushing, whatever, he just did it no-go all the time. And so it was just a good, good guy to learn under. Tell me about what you feel like your role is on this team. Besides making plays, how about off the field and some of the things that, that you feel maybe uh, now have been put on your plate from that perspective? Oh, just uh, working in the community. You know, I'm a nursing major, so I deal hand-in-hand -hand with people every day. And um, just helping people is my thing off the field. I, I just got a heart for the world, heart for people. And um, I hope everything that Coach Collins teaches us uh, here, growing as men, that I can take out for myself and uh, to grow as a man more. Bind up some of the wounds that you inflict, right, <laughs> on those O-linemen? It's quite a duality from uh, <laughs> being on the field and then getting in a pair of scrubs and uh, having a heart for people instead of hurting people. All right, well, let's uh, talk to your uh, position coach here, Cody. Uh, Josh is one of those players uh, who, who tends to make big plays at big moments. I'm thinking about the Northern Arizona game last year. They've got a, a almost a chip shot field goal that probably ends any chance of ACU winning. Instead, he gets a hand on it, blocks it. Uh, tell me about what you expect from this guy on the field this year. Well, Josh is a very explosive player for us. Um, he really had a great camp this uh, fall. Uh, probably one of his best he's had since I've been here. Mm -hmm. um, he brings a lot of explosiveness to the to the game, getting off the ball and just leadership with the guys. He knows the play, so he's like a quarterback for us up front, getting guys lined up. Uh, so I expect him to be our leader up front, getting guy, helping guys get lined up because we are younger up front because um, you mentioned the guys that, that left. Uh, but uh, just leadership role and, and just coming in there and being a stout guy for us this year. When this defense under Darian Doolin shifted back to a 4-3 a few years ago, uh, we understood the, the, the critical nature of depth, and there was a big push by Coach Collins to go out and recruit a lot of big bodies to play along the defensive line. So even though you lose Richardson and Williams, right. you, there were a ton of snaps last year for guys like LaMarcus Allen uh, on that D-line. So uh, give me some names of some guys that I'll be calling a lot from the radio booth this year. First of all, I, I'll talk about Rashad Wimberly. He'll be moving at DN this year. He played the last three to four games for us out there. Has been a little banged up in camp, but we've got him coming back here, and he's looking pretty good. Um, the other guy that's really having a really good camp is Dylan Douglas. Mm -hmm. um, Dylan Douglas, <clears throat> excuse me, played a lot of special teams for us last year, but uh, he's bringing a little bit of that passing threat this year for us. We've had uh, the other scrimmage. He had six sacks in the scrimmage the other night um, and just keeps getting better. So he, I'm excited about him. Devondrick Meadows is another guy that we can play outside with his length, 6'5 guy, also can bring him inside and play him at three technique. He's a heck of a um, basketball player in high school, was he, he not? He is. He's a very good athlete. Um, uh, LaMarcus Allen, we mentioned him, played a lot, most out of all the freshmen last year, so he'll be a true sophomore. Brings a pass rush threat from the inside, but he's really gap sound. He plays really good with his technique, so I'm excited about those guys right now. Well, uh, obviously, no great secondary can be great if the D-line doesn't do its job. And Coach Cody Moore expecting big things out of Josh Bloom and the entire D-line this year. Our ACU football preview continues here on ACUsports.com. For Josh and for Coach Cody Moore, I'm Grant Boone.